Oh. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but if you go on Uniswap V3 and you look at the liquidity, mm. it's weird because the asks are on the right side, or rather the bids are on the right side and the asks are on the left yeah. side. Yep. And it's a funny looking chart there. You should go check it out. There's uh, quite a big chunk there, isn't there? Just saying. It's a cool <laughs> chart. <laughs> So uh, because V3, you can put liquidity asymmetrically. You don't have to have it the same as V1 and V2. Not to say that you're giving any kind of advice for liquidity providers and things like that. What should we think about when it comes to play that game or just hold the coin? Oh, I mean... I like, I, I like providing it if it's not going to be risk on. Uh, but I don't want to have risk. I want to hold my hex. If you hold hex without staking for a year and a half from January 5th, the price went up 386,000%. If you liquidity provided, you made maybe some don't number far cry. less than that. <laughs> some number very far less than that because you would have mm. sold all the way up. You would have sold mm. lower the whole way up. And then in order to make that impermanent loss back, it would have to go all the way back down there. And so you're, you're getting impermanent loss and you're still ending up ahead of the game because you have two things and one of those things is going up. So you are, you know, it, it's, you're making money versus fiat, but you're losing money versus holding just the thing. <clears throat> so I think, I think if you analyze people's actual returns from being liquidity providers, it is, totally garbage compared to just mm. holding hex because hex has gone up so much and liquidity providing i mean so basically like from the numbers i look at on uniswap.info the annual apr is something like you know 100 percent or something like that and so and, that, and that's like it's higher on the eth pair than the usdc pair for some reason it's almost 2x higher usually which is probably why guys won't pull the damn liquidity off that pair <laughs> Fine. I mean, it's it's fifteen percent of liquidity. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I'd be happy if it wasn't there. I, I think USDC is a cooler liquidity pair to like make us non-reflexive to Ethereum as much as possible, particularly because I think that mm -hmm. Ethereum's price is going to continue to go down. I mean, it's making a waterfall pattern. Like you can't even get a pennant or a bull flag. You're literally just having a waterfall. You're like, yep. okay, well, it doesn't get worse than this. This is the worst pattern I know. The crappiest, <laughs> crappiest pattern that exists is that one right there. Oh, I can't man. think of anything worse. <laughs>